Echo Finger Wolf, this is the last video I'm going to make for the night. This is slightly important to me. It's probably not important to everyone else. But I have issues trying to find um, information on my great-grandmother. I'm having issues on trying to find residential schools in Virginia. And I have no idea where to start. So let me explain. I have gone to Google on both my laptop and my cell phone. Both of them are fucked up. All right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to the BIA. I don't want to deal with these motherfuckers because they really don't, they they aren't really for native people. I'm not going to lie because they're the ones putting me through all this shit on my reconnecting journey. But um, I'm going to ask them if they would be able to tell me how to find a residential school. How would I be able to contact the residential school? How will I be able to find out if they were the school that my great-grandmother Ada Wallace Ford went to and... um her brother John. Now the reason why I have to use that name because the only name that I remember her having was Ada Ford but her maiden name was Wallace. Again, not a Native American last name. All right, A lot of Native Americans did not have last names so I gave myself Echo Fang Grey Wolf as my Native name because that's what it's gonna be. It's not gonna be Echo Fang Wallace. Fuck that shit. That just sounds horrible. And why be a Wallace when I'm already a Williams? I want to get as far away from the W's as possible. Unless that W is a victory. So, Echo Fang Grey Wolf. It represents my native side. And it gives me the ties that I need. Because when I get my native card before I die, it's going to be under Echo Fang Grey Wolf. And nothing's going to stop that from happening other than a case of death before desire. Um, I need to know if they can help me find her... Um residential school because they got me trying to take DNI a test they got me trying to do genealogy they got me doing all this shit only to find out that when I talked to them last which was a few years ago that even if I had more than 50% of native DNA I would still have to be accepted by a tribe specifically a Cherokee tribe and I would have to go through all kinds of shit to prove indigeneity and I'm like so my face isn't enough, and even if I have 50% of native DNA, I still have to go through more shit. So now I have to track down her genealogy. So if I can track down her genealogy, if I can track down the Dodge records, if I can track down the residential school, you see the shit I'm going through? I'm fucked. But I can't give up now. Because I'm obsessed with this, and I have to find out. I know that I'm part native. Without question. Rather, it's Cherokee like we've been told, or Iroquois, or whatever other tribe that is in Virginia. It's from the Powell Height area. Um, that's where I was told to look, and I have not been able to find anything in Powell Height. I think it's Powell Height. It's either Powell Height or Poe White. I do not know how to say it, okay? But, hold on. Let's see if Google can help me with this. Is it Pow Height or Po White in Virginia? This is not what that damn thing went across that thing. <sighs> okay. Po White Parkway. Wikipedia. James River Independent River Richmond City carries Metropolitan. Um, how do you say it though? References, archives, download links. Virginia Route 67, Transport, Powell, Poe White, Powell Height. Ah, what the fuck? It's giving me shit, but it's not giving me shit. Is it Poe White or Powell Height in Virginia? This motherfucker. I hate technology. Let me see if the picture will show up. Then you guys can tell me how to fuck to say it. Motherfucker, that's not what I need. Oh, damn, great. Okay, that'll, that'll work. That is not the sign.
I was looking for the street sign, but there's no street sign. I just hit something, and I don't know what the fuck just went wrong. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys can read that. I don't know how you say that. Is it Poe White or Pow Height? I don't know. Pow Height Park. No, how do you make it bigger? Okay. I'm so not into technology, man. I s oh, fuck. No, damn it. How do I make it bigger so I can read it? Okay. How do I make it smaller? Son of a bitch. You know what? I give up. I can actually find somebody who knows more about the place than I do. But anyway, that's where she's from. She's from Poe Height or Pow White. Somebody just watching this, please be native. Please help me. Because I'm fucking lost in the sauce with this shit. But I really need to know. Because, one, I want my um, native card. So, also, there is another reason. I know that if I can be registered as a um, member of a native tribe, that I can almost travel anywhere in the United States for fucking free. That would help me a lot. Especially since I know I can get a military discount because airplanes and stuff, they do give veterans military discount. Hopefully that's still a thing. I will find out <laughs> if I ever get any money to go flying anywhere. But, you know, I'm going through so much on this reconnecting journey and it has been a pain in the ass. I kid you not, it has probably been the biggest pain in my ass since the day I found out that I was part native. And I know, I know you're thinking, how does finding out that you're part native as big of a pain in the ass as what you're talking about? Well, there's a story that goes along with that. Remember I told you I didn't know I was fucking part native until the fifth grade. I just thought I was black and white. Well... Miss Conrad, God rest your soul, and if you're still alive, my God, you are pushing it. But, because she was pretty up there when I was in the fifth grade, Miss Conrad pointed out that I was part Native, and I had to go home and ask my mom, and she's like, yeah, your grandmothers are both Native. And I was like, oh, I just thought we were black. Damn. You know, kind of crushed my world. <laughs> you know? Because it's bad enough the kids were already calling me a half-breed. Now they had more ammunition to fire at me. And kids are cruel. So, what led to that was the canoes made out of soap. So, Miss Conrad decided, hey, James, you're going to carve the best canoes in class because you're part native. And I looked at that woman like she was crazy. I literally looked at her and like, Part native? The fuck are you talking about? I'm part black and part white. I'm not part native. She's like, no, you're part native. I'm like, I don't think so. As I, I'm pretty sure you need to fix your glasses because she did wear glasses. It's like, no, you're part native. Ask your mama when you get home. Now here's the thing. I wanna, I wanna point this out so that people understand. Miss Conrad was a black lady. She may have been mixed her damn self, which is. I think that a lot of mixed people, we actually can pick out other mixed people almost instinctively. Almost instinctively. That was the key, was the word almost. And when I went home, and I asked my mom, I should have probably asked about the soap before I fucked it up, but I asked her if we were part native, and she's like, yeah, you're part native, you're part Cherokee. I was like, fuck. So, you know, then I commenced to carve up the soap with a butter knife into what never remotely came close to looking like a canoe. And then my mom commenced to whoop my ass <laughs> for all this bars of soap. <laughs> like, dial soap wasn't cheap back then. And dial soap came at, like, maybe $25, and you got, like, four in a bag. And I went through at least four bags of soap. 
So yeah, I deserve that ass whooping. But um, my canoes turned out horrible. I brought the three salvageable canoes to school, and I looked at Miss Conrad, and I said, Miss Conrad, I don't know what native I am, but I will tell you, we ain't carving shit. And I gave her, <laughs> I gave her the canoes. <laughs> I felt so ashamed. Those canoes looked horrible. And um, I can laugh about it now, but at the time, I couldn't. And I had to explain to her that I couldn't sit down very well because my mom ripped me a new puppet hole for all the bars of soap that I fucked up trying to carve some damn canoes. I said, so whatever native I am a descendant from, they must have been a scout because they don't like horses because I got bit by a horse. And they damn sure can't carve shit. I can draw a little bit. But as far as carving goes, not an option. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, this native journey, man, I'm sticking it through. And I will rarely um, prefer to call myself as James. Every video as of the last start of March, I have been Echo Fan Grey Wolf. Probably after March. I'm not going to swear to when I started calling myself that. But that's the name. That's the name I'm sticking to it, and if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but I'm sticking to it. I love Echo Fang Grey Wolf, and I plan on being Echo Fang Grey Wolf until I breathe my last breath. That being said, thank you guys for watching. I am going to do one more video after this. Um, hopefully, 9-9 will be putting my um, stuff out, so I'm going to make an audition tape right now for Guardians of the Galaxy. So, three. Because 9 9 is supposed to be having something about that. So I will be emailing them after work tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Echo Fan Grey Wolf. Be